uh, uh, from the battery. quite early morning, which is why I've still got bags under my eyes. Um, I'm just sat in the van uh, waiting for uh, delivery that's expected this morning. Um, I thought I would use this time to give a couple of updates on some of the little jobs that I've been doing that I haven't perhaps recorded as I've done them for one reason or another. Sometimes batteries aren't charged and um, the impatient person inside of me can't wait to get a job done if I've got the parts ready and available. Uh, so one of the things that, I've, that I had to get on with was wiring up the rest of the lights um, in the ceiling. So I bought a pack of lights, it was a pack of six lights and they're specifically designed to be low power and for caravans and motorhomes. Um, and I put those in round about the same time that I put the carpet on the ceiling, on the roof. Um, I didn't wire, I, I put the wires in place ready to connect them all up, but I didn't connect them up at the time. I just, just put them there, uh, aside from two, which I wired up to the existing wiring that was already in the van. And I did that because um, I think it's kind of handy that once, when you return to the van and you open the door, sometimes you go like that, sometimes you go like that. Um, but some lights came on, come on, so that you can see what what you're doing, and you can see what's in the van. You can see if there's any monsters in there waiting for you, or zombies. Um, and then I wired up the rest. Now, I was looking all over the internet for a switch panel, and the only ones that I could really find that were suitable for caravans and motorhomes were the CBE style ones and I don't know they didn't really float my boat they weren't they just I don't know something about them I did just, just didn't really like um, and I couldn't find anything else that I really liked and there were a few on eBay but even still they were like 30 quid and I just thought it's too much for, for switches. So in the end, I decided that I would just make my own switch panel, which consisted of um, an electronics box, you know, those plastic ABS plastic boxes that you can buy. They have a lid and some screws. And it's, they're mainly for like creating electronics devices or um, containing electronic parts and things like that. And some LED. Um, might, might not be LED, but but certainly light up toggle switches or rocker switches. Um, and so I made that panel up, um, put it in the bulkhead, and then wired it all up. And okay, so this is the the panel that I made. Uh, I've left it with some space so that I can add additional switches in the future if I want to. Um, but once when you turn them on, obviously. They, 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 like, they illuminate and the reason I thought this was quite a good idea is if I'm in the van on a night and say I've just been using one of the lights to read and then it's time to switch it off you know, it's easy just to see really quickly which lights on and, and hit that button switch and if, nope. yep. so I have power um, I, you know Maybe I'll do a video on how to wire the switches up in the future. It's not exactly rocket science, but uh, on the back of each of the toggle switches, there are three pins. Uh, so positive from the light, positive from the battery, and then the earth from the light switch, and then, and then another earth out to an earth point on the van. That's how I did it, and that, that seems to work. Oh yeah, also, I added one of these cargo nets. I think these are these are fantastic, great idea. Easy to put in, extremely useful. Um, as you can see, that sits just on my bulkhead, and I have another one of those. I might buy some more, um, just to dot around the van. 
boxes. And if I lift up the seat here, you can see it's a little bit of a jungle in here, but I uh, have my split charge relay in there that we did an install on. Um, you can check out the video here. Here. Or is it over there? It's over here or over there to see that split charge relay install. Uh, mini fuse box. Uh, and down here, there's some wiring for this little panel, which has some USB charge points, a 12 volt cigarette style lighter, and the sun shining on this, so you're unlikely to see it, but that's a readout from the leisure battery voltage, like a voltmeter. Voltmeter. Um, currently working on framing up the kitchen, which you are sat in now, although you do not know it. Um, so yeah, framing up the kitchen. Um, hope to have that complete by the weekend, which is two days away. Then I need to get a mattress, or well, not a mattress, like you know, like a, a bench cushion. It's also a mattress. I need to get one of those sorted. Uh, anything else I've done? No, that's it. I'm over here face tracking. Thank you.